Today we're going to be going over the numbers on a three-unit apartment building. Steve and Natalie, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise. And, folks, this is the show where we work together, right, one-on-one. You guys uh, <clears throat> hook up with us, and we figure out your wants, your needs, your goals, your budget, uh, all the things you'd like to accomplish. We, we try to figure out you know, where you're at in your real estate investing career, and then we try to piece you with the right property at the right price, financed in the right way. And then my team, we have the ability after the fact – well, actually, during the fact, we have the ability to actually represent you as your buyer's uh, real estate agent. And then after we close that transaction, we can then handle your property management, your maintenance, your insurance, your landscaping, your tenant screening, tenant leasing. We even have the ability to handle your property insurance and your title insurance, right? So we could do everything for you guys top to bottom, right? So it's, it's you know, a truly turnkey system. Uh, for those long-distance investors, those full-time workers who'd like to invest on the side, people that don't really, uh, you know, have a lot of experience in the industry but want to get started, right? And who I'm working with today is Steve and Natalie, and these guys are the perfect example of how our system and our program and our boots-on-the-ground type services can work, right? They're international teachers, okay? They have lived all across the world, right? You guys have lived everywhere. Currently, you're living in Mexico. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but Mexico is pretty goddamn far from Cleveland, okay? It's pretty hard uh, to unclog a toilet in Cleveland when you're teaching English as a second language in Mexico, right? So our services work very well. And uh, what you guys did is you guys purchased uh, a 10-pack of videos from us, right? You did 10 videos because you're trying to build a very large portfolio, right? So we're doing a lot of analytics and numbers on a lot of properties, right? You guys are trying to build up 40 doors in your portfolio in a very short period of time, and you have $300,000 in cash to start with, right? And uh, you guys have talked to me about multifamily. You guys love uh, multifamily. You really want to get into triplexes and quads, right? Because, like myself, I think they're your favorite type of investment because you're trying to build a lot of doors, guys. The cool thing about triplexes and quads, it's the most units you can get with a residential loan, right? You could do 10 residential loans. Those are the best loans, right? 30 years, fixed interest, low interest, right? You can get 10 of those loans, and if you get 10 quads, you got 40 doors, boom, done, right? If you if you do all triplexes, right, you can get up 30 doors. If you only do single families, you only get 10 doors, right? So more doors per loan per roof is what you guys are trying to accomplish. Uh, we have... Uh, I don't know if I want to say a shortage of inventory. Maybe I guess that's a good word, a shortage of inventory. What what happens in the Cleveland market is when they built up all of our housing stock, we got a ton of single families. We got a pretty large supply of, of two-family homes. But when it gets to three and four family homes, they just didn't build that many in our market. So when they pop up, it's very rare. But luckily for you guys, I had analyzed this three-unit apartment building for another uh, set of clients and they ultimately decided to pass on the investment, and it is still available. So now it, it's ready to rock and roll, and you two have been jonesing for me to get you some three- and four-unit buildings. And thus far, uh, in the few videos I've done for you, I haven't delivered just yet, so I'm very excited to present this to you. So what I want to do now is take you to my number analysis of this property. 2105 West 93rd, Cleveland, 44102. Hit the market two weeks ago and the reason it's still on the market even though that these properties are very rare is it is overpriced okay it's overpriced a little bit 159,900 now looking at the pictures I like the property I'm not saying it's a bad property it's actually pretty gnarly uh, the first thing you can see right from the photos it is a side by side by side right you get the town 
house layout. Anybody who's watched a lot of my content knows if you have the opportunity, folks, uh, to get a multifamily property where it's a side-by-side -side layout versus an up-down layout, take that opportunity to do so. I've got thousands of tenants. I've done, done this stuff for a long time, dealt with a lot of this stuff. I will tell you right now, unequivocally, having the side-by-side -side layout versus the up-down layout is going to reduce your turnover, right? There's nobody above or below uh, those tenants making noise, right? So these side-by-side -side layouts, you know, they're much nicer. Uh, I prefer those, right? Those are the way uh, that we like to go here. So that is pretty cool. Other than that, the photos that you see here, folks, these are of the units before the current owner put any of the tenants in there, right? Now, we have fully occupied uh, property here, right? The rents are as follows, 555 and a quarter, 550. So it brings in 1,625 a month or 19,500 a year. As far as whether or not they're market, it's pretty close to market, right? They're one bedroom units. So of course, we're gonna see the rents be a little bit lower. You know, we could probably, you know, maximum, maybe get these up to 600 a piece if we did better, higher quality finishes, like taking a look uh, at some of these photos, right? What you're going to see, right? You got some random stuff in here. Like, you know, we got a baby blue paint color and they've done the trim uh, in the exact same color, right? That's, you know, it's pretty low budget, to be honest with you. This this current seller is trying to do this stuff as cheap as humanly possible, right? So if you want to increase that rent in the future for your next tenants, uh, which, you know, is probably a smart move, especially another thing we could do too is go to the Section 8 program. We do that, we could probably easily hit 600 a unit. Um, what you really want to do though is you want to go with like an agreeable gray and then make the trim pop by going white. Um, what they've done here just it shows me they're trying to do it the cheapest way humanly possible. But uh, other than that, um, I, I kind of dig what they've done. You know, it's low income housing, so none of their fin finishes are amazing, but it, it appears to be workable for what we have at the right price. The right price is not going to be what they're asking for, not that 159.9, but I'll get into that in a moment though. Okay. So based upon what we have right now though, currently, right? 1625. Let's do the numbers based upon the current rents, not the increase in rents. Cause of course that would require unit turnovers and increased renovation. And you know, that's not on the horizon for us right now, right? Let's deal with what's in front of us. So 1625 is coming in. I anticipate an average expense of 841 a month, leaving us with an NOI of 784. And that's also calculating savings for uh, our capital expenditures, right? Our roof, our furnaces, our hot water tanks. We have not been given any information on these items. I would anticipate they're somewhere in the mid range of their life cycles, right? So we're looking at three Ks per furnace to replace when we need to do those. We do those every 30 years. Hot water tanks, we replace those on average every 15 years. Those are all a thousand. Uh, this would be a flat rolled roof, right? So uh, a little bit different than the pitched, uh, the pitched asphalt roofs you normally see. Okay, uh, the way these roofs typically work is it's like a, it's flat, it's a rubberized coating, and uh, you know every few years you just put more coating on top of it, on top of it, on top of it. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Eventually though, eventually it will get to the point where it is too heavy and you need to, to cut down and you need to remove all those layers, okay? And uh, you know, completely start over, right? You're gonna have to do that probably once every like 75 years, okay? Uh, other than that, though, just uh, normal maintenance is going to be okay. Uh, the particular seller has only owned this for a couple of years, so we don't have any information on how many layers are there. But that is, of course, why when we make offers, we make them contingent on a third-party home inspection. But based upon the price point, I want you guys to pay for this uh, and based upon what we're getting in rents, I would not anticipate uh, that – that has already been done uh, in, in the recent, uh, you know, in any of the recent years, right? So I would assume 
that is something that's going to be on the horizon for you guys. How soon that's going to be, how many layers have actually put on, been put on top, uh, I can't tell you from where I'm at right now. That's going to be something you're going to need to lean on your home inspector for, a little bit more information there uh, if we get to that point in the transaction. But with all of that said, with where I think we're at right now, what I think is a fair price for this property is $30,000 less than what we're asking for it. I think uh, if we make them an offer of $130,000 or if we could take this down for $130,000, all things considered, I think that's a hell of a deal for you guys. Now, I know originally you guys had set up uh, a rough budget for me. You wanted to stay uh, in the $120,000 range. I understand uh, that this is $10,000 higher than that, but I think that's probably the best case scenario. I don't see you guys taking it down for any less than $130,000. And uh, you guys are really big on getting those triplexes and those quads. So as I said earlier, the inventory is very, very low in regards to triplexes and quads. So it's not like uh, I could just you know kick these to you every two weeks, right? They're, they're going to come out very infrequently. So if we're not able to go uh, above the budget just a little bit, I, I would suggest opening up your criteria to include more duplexes. Uh, but if we do take this down at 130000 I anticipate this running at a 7-2 cap for you uh, with these current rents, a little bit higher, of course, if we get the uh, max rents on the Section 8 program, which I think, again, we can go up to about 600 a unit doing that. But that, again, will require nicer finishes on the inside, right? We can't just do everything in baby blue, right? We got to put some effort into it, right? Uh, but with a loan too, right? Uh, get a bank to loan you $97,500. You guys put down $32,500. It would run at almost 14% cash on cash return. Right? All right, Steve and Natalie, welcome back. What are your thoughts? I thought that this would work perfect. It's literally exactly what you guys wanted to do, right? You know, we looked at some other stuff, but it didn't have as many doors per loan as this bad boy, so I thought you guys would be very excited. And by the way, folks, if you're out there and you've been watching the show and you're interested in working with me in the same way Steve and Natalie are doing, just send an email to sales at holtonwise.com. Uh, include your phone number and my team will give you a call and we'll figure out what makes you tick and we'll explain our whole process to you and we can get started working together, right? And then you'll get your own videos just like Steve and Natalie are doing. So... Steve and Natalie, we got a couple options now. Let me know if you'd like to move forward with this particular deal, if you think this makes sense. If not, give me some feedback on, uh, you know, if you want me to maybe go a different direction or why you're not necessarily feeling this. And uh, I'm going to one-up it. I'm going to do one thing even cooler, right? I know you guys have been jonesing for the bigger buildings, and I've yet to deliver a quad to you. Haven't delivered any fourplexes, but the good news is I have one in my back pocket, and I am going to film another video for you guys right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.